In the year 1066, England's longtime king lay dying. The pious Edward the Confessor ruled for 24 years, but never produced an heir. Along with a dying king, England has another problem. Edward may have promised the crown to more than one person. Now, across Europe, three ruthless warlords are watching and waiting. The first rules nearby Normandy, a region of France. Here, a duke named William governs with an iron fist. William says King Edward promised him the crown, and he has every intention of claiming it. Another threat to England is 700 miles to the north, in the Viking Kingdom of Norway. Harold III is old school, feared for his piracy and brutality. He'll become known as Harold Hardrada, the hard ruler. Early in the 11th century, the Vikings ruled England for 30 years, and Hardrada believes they can take it again. The third contender is in the heart of England. You've been a strong king. Harold Godwinson is Edward's most trusted advisor. Amen. A skilled soldier, he's also the muscle behind Edward's throne. Three warriors eyeing England and the wealth and power that come with it. One day later, King Edward is at peace. Requiem eterna, dona e domine. William and Hardrada are at a disadvantage. They're hundreds of miles away. But Harold is in the middle of the action. He emerges from Edward's bedchamber with what he claims are the king's last words. Well, what did he say? He told me to my face that it is an onerous and grave undertaking to be king. 